I'm training my overhead press, mm-hmm. and I'm having mm-hmm. a, a sticking point. Okay. So I don't have – I'm training from home because I don't like the commercial gyms around here. And, uh, I was able to – I took the opportunity with the pandemic to, to buy some equipment and just do it from home. So, okay. But I don't have, I have any small increment weights to go up, so I've got two and a half. So I've got five-pound jumps, but I got stuck at 175. Well, you're going to. You have to have incremental plates to – got to have micro plates, as they call them, if you're going to continue to train the press because the smaller the muscle groups that determine the lockout of a lift, the slower they get stronger because of their mass, right? This is just – this should be the obvious thing, right? This is not, this is not something that's debatable. You can lock out a lot more – deadlift and you can lock out a press overhead you have to train the press overhead with small jumps smaller than five pound jumps you have to it's not optional all right now you don't have to load the bar with plates but you have to load the bar in a way that makes the load on the bar go up you know, one, one and a half, maybe two pounds of workout. So, first thing you do, what kind of plates do you have? They're just, uh, so I got some rubber plates for the bigger weights. So I can do some of the cleans and, and stuff like that, mm-hmm. 45s of those. And I got some rubber coated, kind of what you'd buy second half from a commercial gym, mm-hmm. 45s. So I piece them all together. Uh, but I've got uh, iron fives and two point fives. Well, the first thing you need to do when you hang up the phone is go weigh all of those plates and mark them with a white paint marker, so that you know what's on the bar. All right. The most important thing you can understand about this, the the need to do that, is that every plate that has not been calibrated, which costs a bunch of money, every plate that's not been calibrated is an approximation of its face value, which means that if the plate says 45 pounds, that it doesn't weigh 45.000 pounds. It weighs something less or more than 45.000 pounds. And you won't know what that is until you weigh them. So you've got a perfect opportunity to weigh that you, you control all of the plates and the bar that you lift. So it's the same weight every time. All right. So if you've got eight 45s, you have the ability to adjust the final weight on the bar because of the fact there's going to be some slop in each one of those plates. All right. Now, let's say, for example, I've, I have had a 45-pound, quote-unquote, plate in my gym that weighed 57 and a quarter pounds. No shit. <laughs> 12 pounds over because it's cheaper to ship it heavy than it is to mill it down. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> In other words, it's cheaper to give me cast iron than it is to take cast iron off of the plate. I have mm-hmm. seen 45 pound plates that weighed 42 and a quarter. So none of them are, are dead ass on the money accurate except for Yorks are pretty close, and and Grant Brogy at, at Strength Co. is making some 45-pound, beautifully designed, because I designed them, cast iron plates <laughs> that are dead ass on the money. They are within grams of 45 pounds. And if you, if you got accurate plates, then... You, you get into a situation where you are going to have to buy some micro plates because you got to be able to go up a pound 
pound and a half on the press, right, as you have recently discovered. You have to be able to go up in a small jump. Now, you can do that with micro plates. You can buy pieces of chain. You can tape two-inch flat washers together to make your micro plates. We've talked about this for years. There's lots and lots of ways to do this. At this point, too, it's so it's so cheap and easy to just you just go on Amazon or wherever and get, yeah, get some get micro these, plates. You can get these micro plates. But I wrote an article about this a couple of weeks ago, this very topic about – loading the barbell accurately you need to read that article and uh but if you're training by yourself in your house with your plates and your bar there is absolutely no excuse for you to not be able to immediately have control over the load on the bar within a pound 